feel very proud of it. I think it's a, a great honour that's been be bestowed on us uh, through the international community, so, so we're very pleased for that. I think it is uh, the use of the technologies that we are trying to use, particularly coming from a developing country, where we've uh, placed a lot of emphasis on how to use technologies to improve our, our workflows, our productivity, and then ultimately how we actually serve information, the geospatial information, to our various clients. We uh, have uh, a geoportal uh, which uh, we are uh, using to provide uh, web services, uh, both file uh, services or mapping services where we can then better uh, serve uh, the geospatial information. So I think that uh, issue of accessibility to geospatial information is really a key point in getting the user then to be able to use that information. And also uh, we have a, a quite a strong program of aerial imagery in the country which we uh, uh, take through to uh, the author imagery. So we have a regular program of then refreshing this, this imagery which is I think a very critical part of in the geospatial information that the country does need. We have a very strong uh, policy on land. So it's, it's a very high priority in our government. Uh, you know, taking the uh, uh, our past, we have uh, a very uh, uh, high priority on, on land reform in the country and uh, trying to provide uh, security of tenure to all the people inside Africa. So that is a very high government priority. Land obviously does have value and uh, everyone does respect that it does have value. Uh, but I think we need to understand also that there are various uh, cultural linkages to land and uh, so those also in themselves then provide uh, value uh, to, to land. So I don't think we should only be looking at the formal valuation systems but also the, the, uh, the, the looking at it from the traditional uh, value that is placed on land. Geospatial information is so key to any uh, development projects that do take place. And uh, so we, we need to acknowledge that you know, because development takes place at a place or in a space. And, and that is then gives us location, which is then uh, geospatial information. And uh, so we do need to make sure that we uh, have that geospatial information which is relevant for that particular uh, policy or that particular decision that needs to be made for that development, both in the development planning stage and also in the, the execution and monitoring as well. You need to also monitor what, how effective your policies are as well, so you need to consider that. And obviously this getting information to the user fast and when they need it, that's where the ICT technologies are helping us.